This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. On March 17th, the following week on SmackDown, we've got like a three box interview with yourself, Randy Orton and Ray Mysterio. Randy's essentially hijacking the interview and taunting you both, but you're both sort of teasing and talking about Saturday night's main event, but you have to do so in code. UPN of course is the home of SmackDown, but NBC is going to be hosting Saturday night's main event. So instead of getting to actually plug the show, I think UPN required you guys to just say quote unquote in Detroit. So when you're teasing the match, you can't say this weekend on NBC or Saturday night's main event. You just have to say in Detroit, is that something you had to be coached through? I mean, this feels like this is a little different than normal, but you got to make the TV stations happy, right? Yes. We, we, we were told several times before we did the promo that we had to uh, not uh, recognize NBC. So uh, we, you know, we, we, we did the best we could. We kept them out of the picture. So we, we did what we were told. Let's talk about Saturday night's main event briefly. Again, we just did a full episode of this with Bruce over on something to wrestle, uh, but it's SmackDown versus raw in the main event The show's going to go, or the match is going to go 11 minutes and uh, 40 seconds. Uh, and it opens the show on NBC, which was typical for Saturday night main events. Your main event would start. Uh, we would have triple H turn on Cena and help uh, Orton, Uh, but Mysterio, who's a good guy, stops Orton from winning that way. So Triple H pedigrees him too, but somehow in all the chaos, Cena gets the win. And Meltzer would write that this is a loud and clear message being sent that the Raw wrestlers are, quote, on a higher plane than the SmackDown wrestlers because in a SmackDown versus Raw match, Triple H laid out Rey Mysterio and John Cena with pedigrees And then Cena defeated the entire SmackDown team, three main eventers all by himself. Do you remember feeling like that was some odd creative? I mean, it does feel a little bit like it's a clean sweep for raw. Well, I believe the whole segment was strictly for John Cena. I think that um, they want him to look invincible, unbeatable, and that he could actually beat three people one time. So this whole match was structured for John. Don't forget Triple H gave John the pedigree and John still was able to win the match. So, uh, even though triple H got his, let's, uh, let's talk about New Zealand. Uh, there's a pretty random story here. I want to bring up, but SmackDown runs a show on March 4th in New Zealand. It turns out to be one of the biggest gates in company history. It's the first show in that country like this, that's been held outdoors. It's at a stadium. We've got nearly 20,000 fans. It draws a $1.4 million gate. You're in the main event that night. It's a triple threat match against the undertaker and Mark Henry. What do you remember about wrestling in New Zealand? That's not a question I can ask many wrestlers. It's a really cool country. You know, the, the animals are different over there. They have giraffes and kangaroos and koala bears. And, uh, but, but I, I enjoyed being there and, and the crowd was awesome. I mean, we sold out the show and, uh, it was one of our best performances as far as a company, uh, you know, selling out to, a uh, for our first time going into that country, that that's impressive. Yeah. I mean, anytime you can, you know, pull that type of gate, you've done something right. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.